Hi everybody, my name is Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome Ride Maker's ride from home. Here we have the Ride Maker's car. Um, we're gonna unbox it. Uh, we're gonna take out all the parts out of the bag. Uh, we have all the accessories, the tires, the rims, the chassis, the body. Uh, there's also a hex key, uh, which is the tool to put it together, and the instructions uh, that come with each package that you order from Ride Makers. So now that we have all of our parts unboxed, we're going to start with uh, building the actual ride. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the body up out of the clamshell package that it comes in. And we're going to take the chassis here. Now on the bottom of the chassis, uh, there's a front end and there's a back end. Uh, you always notice the back end has this metal tab here, which is going to insert into the metal slot in the in the uh, body. All right, so we just line the screw holes up with the four pegs on the body. Um, there, on the back, you're going to see that there's actually two slots. Uh, one of those is for the street chassis. One of those is for the monster. The monster is a little bit longer. In this case, we have the street chassis. So it's going to line up with the front two and then the first back two pegs. We're just going to hand tighten these screws down a little bit just to get them started. And then we're going to use this tool, uh, which we call a hex key. This is the tool that's going to fit these four screws. It also fits the, uh, the screw that opens the battery compartment. All right, so we're going to open this up. And what you're going to do is you're going to hand tighten all of these screws down. You're going to want to do it in kind of a crisscross pattern. So start uh, with the back and just kind of move to one side of the front, the other side of the front, and then to the other back. And you just want to kind of slowly do all these until they're tightened all the way down. Okay, so now we have all four of our screws tightened down uh, our chassis to our body. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the rims and the tires. Uh, so these are just on spools. Uh, you just pull them off. Uh, one thing to uh, pay attention to is there's going to be always a rear tire and there's always going to be a front tire, unless you're dealing with a monster, uh, which we'll get to in a different video. Uh, but one way to tell which are the front and which are the back is the back tires are always going to have a red and a blue uh, label on them. The front tires will either have an all blue label or if it's, it's a different type of car it's a smaller tire and it's going to have an all red label. Uh, but yeah so we just take the tires off the spools we're going to take the rims out of the packages there's no back on them they just pop out the back and these just simply just snap in to the tires. Okay. All right, so now we have our four rims and tires. Again, these were the back tires, these were the front tires. Uh, so what we do is you just line them up, you just push real hard and they'll snap right on there. You'll hear a click when they snap into place, just like that. Okay, so there you go. There our Ride Maker's car is built. Next, we'll go over uh, putting in batteries and accessories. Okay, so now we have our um, car built here. We have the remote control street chassis and the Chevy Corvette. Um, there is also a freewheel chassis that you can get for it if you don't want the remote control. Uh, that's what actually comes with the car uh, when you purchase it. The remote control is a $25 upgrade. Um, so the free wheel chassis, as you can see, looks basically exactly like the other one. Uh, the only difference is, is it doesn't have a motor built into it. Uh, as you can, and the, on the switch here, it's just an on and off, which uh, the would, two batteries would control the lights and the sounds. The remote control has the off one, two, and the three, which we'll get into. Uh, it takes more batteries and then obviously has the motor built into it. So, but yeah, we have the remote control version here. So we're going to put uh, AA batteries in. So now inside this compartment here, you can do two things. There's a tray here that holds four AA batteries, or you can replace it with a rechargeable power pack. Um, now this power pack 
as you can see just goes in place of this you'll charge these for four to five hours you get about 30 to 45 minutes of continuous drive time uh, you always have this tray so if this is charging you can use your double a batteries so we're gonna put our double a batteries inside this tray here okay put that down inside all right we're gonna there's two uh, little uh, slots here you line up in there and you're just going to tighten this back down okay all right so yeah like i said there's an off one two and the three on the bottom here uh, it is in the on position anytime it's in the one two or the three uh, when you push down on this hood piece you can see you have lights and the sounds are working on the car the one, two, and the three, the reason for that is on your controller, you also have a one, two, and a three. Um, this is if you have multiple cars, so they're not controlling each other. So you just want to make sure that the, the band on the controller always matches the band on the chassis. Okay, so now we're going to put our 9 volt in the controller. We're going to use that same hex key to unscrew the compartment on the back. Put your 9 volt battery in snaps down and we're going to tighten that back down all right so here uh, it's the on off button when it's on you see the it lit up there and again on uh, the band here there's a one two and a three that's going to match with that number on there your antenna folds in and out so you fold it in pull it out to get the best range out of your out of your car uh, it's got an up button down button and the front and the left all right now when you go forward you have foot lights when you go backwards you have the back lights okay so now we're going to get into putting the accessories on um, i'm going to start with these side pieces here um, this is a chevy corvette like i said before uh, this car and our dodge viper have these things which are little side skirts that pull out uh, these come out and this just uh, enables your side pieces to fit better. Um, now you can only do one side thing at a time. I just have these both here just to show you um, the difference with the, the street lights or the um, light up side pipes. They have these metal here. You just wanna make sure that that's touching the metal inside the slot there, okay? So yeah, these just simply uh, slide into these slots just like that. All right, and then when you push on your hood piece or when you drive the car, it's when it lights up. Again, you can get the side pipes if you like that look better, and those go in the same place. They just don't light up is the only difference. But yeah, same two notches go in the same two slots here, just like that. Okay. All right, so next here we're going to put on our back accessories. Uh, you can do either muffler tips or you can do a wheelie bar in the back. Uh, both of them uh, just goes just slide right into these little slots in the back uh, on the muffler tips you see these notches here they go in these slots right here you just push those in like that okay there you go where's our muffler tips uh, again oh, there's the wheelie bar same thing has those notches which so just go right in those two slots right there if you wanted that instead all right next we're going to do our grill guard so these, just like the back, has two little uh, slots in the front, and these have the two pegs here. These just go right in those slots here. Sometimes you, these are a little tough to get in the first time. You kind of have to jiggle it a little bit just to get them all the way in there. Okay, there you go. There's our grill guard for that car. Okay, while I have the car flipped over here, I just want to show you the sound chip too. Um, this, uh, there's a pre, uh, a free sound chip that's already pre-built into the, all the chassis already. Uh, it's the free sound. There is an upgrade option. Um, this basically just pulls out if you wanted to change it, and this chip would just snap down inside and place it there. Uh, the upgraded ones just have uh, more sounds to them, basically. All right, next we're going to put on our last two accessories that I have here, which is the hood scoop and the spoiler. Um, the spoiler we'll start with. It all the, They all come with a stock spoiler, except for the trucks. Uh, these just pull right out. You pull that out like that. And we'll put this one in. 
Again, there's just little pegs here that those just snap down into. You just line it up, push hard, and snap down like that. All right, that's our upgraded spoiler. And then the hood scoops. There's a hood scoop or there's an engine. This is just a magnetic piece that comes out. It sticks. Uh, there's also magnets at the top. This one accessory I don't have is a police light. Um, that is just a magnet that just sticks right to the top here. Uh, but yeah, here's our hood scoop. This has a magnet in it that matches the magnet there. It just sticks into place just like that. All right, and then you do have the option to put on decals as well. I do have a sheet here. Um, these are just basically stickers that you can stick anywhere you like. Um, you know, sometimes we keep the like the longer, like the uh, pinstripe ones, you know, kind of go on the sides or down the front. Um, some of these like bigger ones here, sometimes go on the top. But yeah, they're really um, for however you want to do it. You unleash your creativity however you like. All right, so there we have it. There's our completed uh, Galaxy Chevy Corvette uh, that you built at home. Uh, thank you for watching this video and for ordering online at ridemakers.com.